Hi guys! So, pasensya na guys. Last time, I don't know what happened but my phone um, dropped out and I think I was recording, I was talking for like 15 minutes and then it, I, I when I realized it only stopped for 9 minutes. So, I I haven't um, recorded the, the, like the last 15 minutes I was I was talking and it wasn't even recording so we will continue our discussion anyway guys we will continue our discussion continue from that video and then this will be the part two for that one so last time we talked about what does an aged care worker do so that's only the basic based on my experience um shower assist with shower assist with hygiene assist with meals assist with toileting and ADL so basically the floor jobs like you like doing the jobs on the floor like showering assisting with meals feeding them the residents yeah so in this video guys we will talk about how much does an aged care worker um, gets per hour in here in Australia if you are um, a working as an aged care worker but disclaimer this also depends on where you work and um, the facility you work with their offers and also in your position like we will just say um, after a fresh fresh um, entry like if it's your first time working in an aged care facility so we will just um, focus on that one also it is also on based on my experience so probably it's changed but that was like three years ago I started so probably changed I did research a little bit before I made this video so it might give you a little bit of idea how much an aged care worker is getting per hour here in Australia but also yeah disclaimer depends on where you are depends on the location but um, I will put uh, I will put a like a screenshot here of the like the basic rate and also it's also from the pay scale like really f where the um, institutions get their basis for the salaries for the workers so we will start guys um, as a continuation if I ha you haven't watched that video what does an age worker do um, click on here and if you can't find it if I didn't put it here just find it in my playlist it's there and there's more information on that video as well so let's begin so when you work in an aged care guys your basic um, hourly rate is now I, I did look up on payscaleaustralia.com it says 23.35 dollars per hour so usually you will have it depends also on the shift on how many hours you're doing so per hour is $23.35 so we will convert that into um, Philippine money so we'll just say 35 so $817 per hour and then that is only on weekends so I haven't worked on um, um, night shift but night shift is more like there's more more pay than normal day shift of course and also the afternoon when you work in the afternoon also you get like um allowance or a bonus and if you do medications you also get an allowance like extra extra for that um job so we will just say you have 23 dollars 35 per hour as a basic minimum hourly rate on a weekdays and then on weekends you get um, time and a half so that means if you get $23.35 you get time and a half per hour on that one so that would make it around 34 so $23 and half of that will be around $34 per hour on a weekend and on no not on Saturday and then on Sunday you get double time so um, your hourly rate on Sunday is double time so if you're getting $23 per hour and if you work on Sunday so you're getting 46 per hour on Sunday and then also if you're working on a holiday like on a public holiday you also get double time for that one but don't forget that that's only like 
like per hour right at the end of the fortnight like we always get um, payday here every fortnight so at the end of the fortnight you will get um, tax deductions um, uh, yes there's so many deductions in there um, on the the what do you call that gross payments I don't know but anyway I'm not good with tax and everything so minus tax so we'll see if you get if you get 1600 a fortnight your net way your net salary would just be about 1200 um, dollars net but they also have here a salary packaging where um, some of your salary will be um, salary sacrifice wherein maybe 600 something 610 half of that goes to your mortgage or if you choose to be like everyday expenses of $300 if you're permanent part-time worker you get salary sacrifice of um, 650 so that's tax-free so that will be deducted from your um, um, gross payment um, that's tax-free so if you get 1650 650 will go straight to the salary sacrifice where you can use it for mortgage or um, every purchase and meals that is tax-free and then the rest will be the one that is tax deductible so you got 600 something tax-free so if you are a permanent part-time guys you really have to apply or apply for salary sacrifice because it's really um like the tax is really big like deduction is really big the tax so um yeah you apply for a um, salary packaging at least you get a lot of your pay instead of going to tax so anyway guys um what else did i forget the hourly rate is there the weekend um so guys that's just the basic um salary guys for um age care worker here but as soon as you like you you spend a year and then another year you will get a pay rise like every year you get a pay rise and then yeah so it's pretty good money per hour you won't get that in the, in like it's a good start you know so yeah so basically you do hygiene and everything and you get 23 dollars point 35 roughly per hour some some um like boop like other agencies like they offer 24 dollars per hour or everything or something like that but anyway it depends depends on what agency or what facility you work in it might, might be bigger in the cities or in the um, CBD but we in the regional in the regional areas it's much lesser the pay compared to the city so maybe the regional area I based on my experience is about roughly $23 per hour starting pay so guys if you have any questions just don't forget to leave a comment down below and I will try my best to answer um, if you haven't watched the previous video about what an HK worker do, just, yeah, wherever it is in my playlist, it's just down there somewhere. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so subscribe. And thank you again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.